Hey, this is Malcolm Andreation. In this video, we're going to look at three time-saving tricks in Maya 2018 you might not know. So today we're going to look at the easiest way to straighten UV shells, how to make gizmos more sensitive, and using the multi-cut tool to continue a diagonal cut across edges in a perfectly straight line. So let's get into it. So I'll often need to UV map a uh, kind of a curvy or bendy shape like this. And when I'm done, I'll want the UVs to be a perfect rectangle and have all of these edges straight as well in a gridified shape. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. So uh, first go into UV and go to the planar map options box. And I'll just set this to here. We can just reset it and I'll just set it to Y because we're going to planar map top down. I'm always going to turn this on, keep image height width. And I'm just going to do a project, and you'll see I've got my UVs there. I'm just going to turn the grid off as well. Um, so this is great. Let's turn on the checkerboard pattern so we can see that it is, in fact, not following any edges here. And we want it, uh, these checkers to be straight so there's no cutoff edges here. I'm also going to turn on the uh, shaded UVs just so we can see it a little bit better in the UV editor. And I will also darken that down a bit. Okay, there we can see. Okay, so um, the magic trick here is that uh, to get all this stuff straight, what you want to do is you actually want to add a temporary edge loop. Um, and so what we'll do uh, to do that is we'll enter the um, uh, multi-cut tool. So uh, mesh tools, multi-cut tool, enter. And if you hover over the model that you're going to cut on and you hold control, it'll switch into edge loop mode. And then instead of left clicking, if you middle mouse click, it will add an edge loop right down the center. So now we have a perfectly symmetrical edge loop down the center. And now that we have that, what we can do is we can select that edge loop. And in the UV editor, uh, we can... Um, use a tool called, uh, what is it here? Yeah, straighten shell. Um, and uh, normally there's that like uh, ugly UV toolbox on the side there. Um, I couldn't fit it in the window and I don't really use that toolbox anyways. I find it really slow to use, really cumbersome to find um, menu items in. Uh, so we'll use the hotkey uh, for this UV editor tutorial. So what you want to do to bring up the menu is hold shift on the keyboard and hold right mouse button at the same time. And when you do that, you get this menu. Um, and this is way easier to use than that other menu. Um, so all you do is shift, right click, and just go straight in shell. And boom, you've got almost a perfect UV shell uh, in two seconds. Now we just need to clean up this little bit of extra stuff here. Um, so switch to UV mode, right click, switch to UV mode, select all your UVs, and then same thing again. Shift, right click to bring up the menu. And we want to go into straighten UVs, and we're going to go sorry, straighten and then straighten UVs. We're gonna go into the options box and just make sure everything is set to default. We'll reset it. You, you wanna straighten U and V, 30, 35 is probably also okay. Uh, and then just hit apply and that's it. It's that easy, it's magic now. This used to be really painful in older versions of Maya. So now we have our perfectly uh, UV mapped uh, layout and uh, it's perfect uh, rectangle. And uh, it also uh, follows the border edge here. So you can see none of the uh, little checkers are cut off. Uh, use this technique um, on a lot of different shapes, actually, like gun barrels, almost everything cylindrical, all types of stuff. Uh, super powerful. And then so when you're done, when you've got your UV map, just double click the edge and then just delete it. And then there you go. Perfect UVs in two seconds. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to take a look at is how to make the gizmos more sensitive. And uh, this is really helpful for a number of things. Um, so basically, to demonstrate this, I'm just going to have this box here, and I'm going to just duplicate it on top of itself just so we can see the issue. And I'm just going to switch to wireframe mode here. I'm going to select one of these boxes. And basically, when I rotate the box, it's kind of fine, but if you get really close in, you'll see as I rotate it, it's actually super sensitive. Like I'm moving the mouse like one pixel and I can't ever align it with that edge. So this is really easy to do. All you do that when you have any gizmo selected, the move, scale, rotate, um, you press the plus button on your keyboard. And each time you press it, 
it makes the gizmo bigger. So I'm going to press it three times. One, two, three. And as the gizmo gets bigger, it actually becomes more sensitive. So I'm going to zoom back into that same spot here. And now I'm going to move the gizmo. And as you can see, it's super sensitive and I can actually line it back up. Uh, you can press it more than three times if you want to. I always just do three because uh, it's easier for me to remember and it usually makes it sensitive enough. Uh, so this can be handy to do all types of precision things, but the thing I find it the most handy for, just one second, one, two, three. The thing I find it most handy for is actually in the UV editor when you're scaling UVs. It's incredibly sensitive in the UV editor. It's almost impossible to scale anything in there with any type of precision. So you can tap the plus icon in the UV editor as well to make the gizmo more sensitive or less sensitive, although I doubt you'd ever want to do that. So the last thing that I'm going to show you is actually a special trick in the multi-cut tool that allows you to uh, start a diagonal cut and then continue that cut along a perfect uh, edge. So I'm just going to go to Mesh Tools and into Multi-Cut, and I'm going to start an edge. And then the problem is that let's say that I want to start my edge like that and then get that perfect line like all the way down from that angle. And uh, you can try to drag it out, but it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be eyeballed. It's going to be a little bit off. Um, so what you can do is you can actually hold once you've started the click here. So let me just undo this. So um, you left click to select the first point then you left click and hold to drag out the angle that you want and you release the left click. So you have your point there. And now if you hold control and shift at the same time, you'll get this little gizmo. And if you left mouse drag out the gizmo, it will actually cut a perfectly straight line from your original point to whatever edge you want to. And then if you drag it up this way, you'll actually get a perfectly straight line that way along a right angle and that way along a right angle. And if you drag it out, horizontally, you can get a perfectly right angle with no diagonal shape, whatever. So you can actually just drag this through, drag it all the way down to the end here, and then left click to accept the cut, and then right click to finalize it. And you'll have a perfectly um, planar edge all the way down. Now, this is also super handy uh, to do just to do straight cuts around a whole surface, for example, like through some um, janky geometry like this. So let's say you started your point here and it's just like an arbitrary value, 66.68, which would be really annoying to like get another edge there. So once you've started your cut there, if you just hold control and shift, you can cut it out and then just left click and then just continue holding uh, sh uh, shift and control and just cut it out and cut it out and cut it out again. And then the cool thing is as you go around the corner, you can keep holding it and you'll be assured that this edge that you're creating is perfectly planar because it looks for the out, the outgoing edge. That's what this little gizmo is here and the incoming edge. And when these are both green, it means that it's planar. So you can actually cut around the whole model without even needing to know your initial uh, point and then just connect these guys up here. And then boom, you've got your edge cut all around there. And the other cool thing that it does is you could start an edge here, hold shift, right click, drag it out to there. And then it'll actually, when you get to a corner like this, it'll give you the option to go straight through, or it'll give you an option to align planar with this edge. So you can actually go down at an angle like this as well. So this is super powerful. I use this tool all the time when I've got a bunch of pre-existing geometry edges and I need to cut through them on perfect right angles. If you like this video and want to see more game art tips and tricks, please click the subscribe button. As usual, any links will be in the description. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments area. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.